Now let me introduce Aidan Wang, uh, who will present the student commencement address. Aidan moved to the United States as a high school exchange student and knew early on that he wanted to pursue a degree from MSU's highly ranked accounting program. That he did, among many other things. Aidan has dedicated his years to MSU, to advocating for fellow international students, and to creating an inclusive space among all Spartans. He has traveled across the world to represent MSU at global events and spoken against campus hate crimes at a highly publicized TED Talk. He led several student organizations, served as a teaching assistant, and even founded his own nonprofit to help boost investment in the local economy. After graduation, Aiden will join PricewaterhouseCoopers, a global accounting and consulting services company in its Chicago office, and will continue overseeing his nonprofit from afar. He hopes to one day use his Spartan experience to make an impact in both the US and China. Please join me in welcoming Aiden. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Gupta, for the introduction. About a month ago, um, I was told that I was going to be the commencement speaker for the Bro College of Business. I was so excited, and I thought, I'm going to treat this task very seriously, just like writing my final papers. So I started last night. <laughs> <laughs> but it is such an honor to be here and you know, to stand on this, on this podium and speak, you know, especially as a Chinese national who just set foot to this beautiful country about six years ago. Look at me now, I'm going to be an um, alumni, aluminum, a, a guy who graduated from this wonderful school. I'm going to be an alumni now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And then standing here, I do want to thank and welcome Mr. Penninger, faculty, families, my parents, and most importantly, my fellow class of 2017. Today, I'm here to share with all of you a story about my family. Back in the 1960s, my grandparents were among the first generation builders of the newly founded People Republic China. My grandfather worked in a coal mine right by Beijing, which fueled the early development of this great city. And later, in 1978, the reform and open, opening up policy was started. This once-to-be state-dominated economy for the very first time adopted the idea of markets and also gave birth to now we know as the modern accounting industry in mainland China. And later, my father has the fortunate to earn, to, uh, um, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> and later, my father has the fortune to be the first college student in my family and later graduated with a degree in auditing and financial reporting. He became one of the first generation public accountants um, in mainland China later on in his career. So under his inspiration, I knew I wanted to be, be an accountant r right after arriving here in Michigan State. And for our commencement, my parents flew 13 hours, and they are here with us today. <laughs> my family heritage always makes me very proud. However, the reality was not so glamorous as it sounds. My grandparents were, were, were war refugees from the Second World War. They fled their hometown when they were very young and vagabonded a few years before eventually settling down in Beijing. My grandfather did not devote his career in the coal mine for the honor of supporting the newborn China, but rather because state-held enterprises pay enough for one extra bag of flour. At that time, with five kids and only my grandfather working, the family critically needed this extra flour. And to make some extra cash, 
my grandma had to walk around the neighborhoods during lunch times and cook for, for the other families. She ended up even making a name for herself by making the best shredded potato stir fries. And of course, you know, I was okay with it because she ended up becoming my favorite cook. But however tight the budget was, my parents were never short on investing in their children's education. All five children were put through high school and my father earned multiple college degrees. As you can tell, my family had to go through a lot to make it possible for me to stand on this campus as a Spartan. So immediately after arriving here, I felt so pressured to triumph in every single aspect in my life. So just like many of you, I was busy with classes, clubs, events at the Bro College, to a point that I felt disconnected from my family. I always had excuses. I always had this assignment to finish, this meeting I need to attend, and this interview I need to get ready for. So when I respond to my mom's text messages, one phrase that I used way too often was actually, sorry mom, I can't talk. Now, don't ever tell your mom that you are too busy to talk. <laughs> And later, thank you, <laughs> thank you. And later in the fall of 2015, while I was so busy in East Lansing, my grandmother in China experienced severe pain in her stomach. The family knew she had this tummy trouble for years, but nobody took it very seriously as it was never so severe. So after the ambulance took her, took, took her to the hospital, the doctor found out, found out she had to go through serious surgery and have her gallbladder removed. But luckily, she ended up fine. I used to spend almost every summer with her when I was little, so I was in total shock when I first heard the news. Even more upsetting, I did not hear the news until months after the surgery. My family decided to hide it from me. I was a little angry and asked my mom, why didn't you tell me? And she said, you seemed busy. And it hit me. That was the moment I suddenly realized my personal development should not be at expense of my family. I should not have taken my academic life so seriously. I could have made a few mistakes. I could have even waited to watch Scandal. <laughs> I became disconnected from what truly mattered. From that point on, I made it a priority to balance. And I know that when I started my career, I will always work to stay in balance. Today, we close the chapter of being students. Tomorrow, we start the next chapter. For some of you, this might be starting a new job. For the others, this might be a different path, like graduate school. But no matter, no, no matter where you go, carry this message with you. Seek to find balance. No matter how busy you are, call families. Remember what is important and who helped you to get you, to, to who brought you to this moment. Today, we bid farewell to Michigan State. Never forget where your journey began and who helped you along the way. And forever, I'm sure you all know what's coming. Go green. Thank you very much. See you, 大家。